Hello, it's Dr. Abstract here, and welcome to Zim at zimjs.com. We're going to explore the docs. So the docs can be found in the top bar here. And the docs are broken up into frame, display, methods, controls, code, wrap, meta, and helper. Those are the modules. Zim was built on modules initially, and then we moved to um, just a whole uh, Zim. And we can use distill to break up things rather than the modules. But the modules are still here, and if you press any of those, for instance, the methods, we, it jumps down to the Zim methods, and we can press top to go back up to the top. Let's introduce the beginning here, though. In the intro, there's a message that says you're not really supposed to learn by going to the docs exactly. You would go to the learn section and follow tutorials and maybe use the editor and stuff to learn there. The docs is for a reference where you look up something to see the various commands. There are, is this video, and that's what we're doing right now. Is this video a replacement? Because that, that video currently is an older video. Here is updates. That's important as you start to get uh, working with Zim. This is where we introduce the various updates for here. For instance, here is uh, the updates for Zim 014 and then back through the various versions of Zim. They are actually all here, we just didn't put them all on the, the bar. So uh, the updates is important, that will tell you what's new, and uh, along with that too are things that break, um, that might make the docs different than how they used to be, parameter order changes, and patches as well that have been patched into Zim. So you can read about that, um, and that's the update, so a very good page to, to know when you're working in Zim a lot. Back to the docs, which we can get to here. Uh, there's also a text version, so here's what the text version looks like. It's basically a full searchable text version of the docs, so you can do that if you so desire. Let's see, this is... Which one? There we go. Um, code. Uh, so that takes you to the code section where you've got your template. That's basically this one right here. And tips. Tips is an addendum, I suppose, if you want to call it, to the docs that tell you um, the latest ways that we do things and uh, some, you know, catch pitfalls as well. You know, things that um, might fool you about hit tests or etc. So there's all sorts of tips. Do you want to see that? So here's tips. And there's a glossary of terms right there as well as tips on all of these kinds of things. What happens if something's missing when you don't see it? Well, maybe you missed a stage.update, for instance. That kind of thing. All right, back to the docs. So there is a latest versions right here that you can open up, and this links through to where we can get the module code, script code. The CDN is where all of that code is found, and then here's some of the latest right here. So the CDN will have all older versions as well. But there's the minified version of Zim. You can't really read that. There's the docs version of Zim. And these docs are actually made from that docs version of Zim that has, uh, you can read all the code and see all the code. But an easier way than, and you want to see that, here it is. So this is all the actual Zim code right here, and you can do a search through that. It's a lot of code. And in here, note that we've got, uh, there's the marquee, that's the docs, and we're drawing from that docs version. Anyway, that doesn't matter too much for you. Um, there's an easier way to see all of this code, and we're going to show you that in just a second, as soon as I figure out how to go back. Uh, what did this open up a new? Let's try this one. Nope. And how about a shift tab? Will that get us back? Nope. <laughs> Control tab. There we go. Control tab. Sometimes that's opening. Ah, that one's opening up in a new window, and uh, whereas the text one opened up in the same window. It's different hotkeys to get back. Okay, so... Mm, there's the module version as well. Um, here are all of the libraries, uh, the, uh, the supporting Zim libraries right here, or at least uh, these guys, this create.js. Here's box2d and it wraps into these other guys here, which are sort of other people's li libraries to help out that we can use in Zim. The docs for our libraries, the socket game physics three cam pizzazz, are all at the bottom here under helper. So those are the helper libraries. If I click helper, there's the the docs for the um, the game three socket cam etc. All right, we can collapse that then. 
let's have a look at the docs themselves. So they're all organized by color and by module. So we just passed the display objects. First was the frame, then display. Then there's all the methods that all of those display objects can have. Uh, here's the Zim controls. Uh, that's things that we can do to display objects um, with other objects, basically. So, um, for instance, we can have a pages object that works on existing Zim objects. So the controls generally work on existing objects. Uh, for instance, a tile, you're tiling already existing Zim objects. Beads, you're, you're laying those around an existing path, existing objects around an existing path. All right, you get it? That's the, the gist of it anyway. We also have effects that can uh, be made that work on the existing objects. Then we've got the Zim code section. The Zim code section is broken down into featured, basics, uh, classes, and HTML ones. So we do have things that work on HTML as well as some of the uh, the wrap module works on HTML as well. L as well such as zid to get, um, that's like document.getElementById, that's zid. Document.getElementById.style is zss. Anyway, usually we use zim for not uh, the DOM, but those things go on the DOM. These things operate on the DOM as well. And we do a lot of HTML work on the zim site, and we use zim to support that HTML work, for instance, in the editor or in the site in general. All right, so back to, so the code would be things that are working on um, not Zim objects there, like RAND is, is helpful for, for math, etc. All right, so there's a lot of things in there. You should take a peek through. Uh, coming back up, though, to the main Zim stuff, there's the frame. A few of these, like pick, odd, and vid, those are all real, SVGs, real, font, tilt, uh, colors. Some of these are just helpful information. Really, they're built into the frame. Um, frame's a bit complicated to look at. There's a lot of stuff there. So let's go down and pick a nice straightforward one, like a circle. So this is a shape. You can see that we've got the parameters all listed out there. And if you expand now, the parameters come into this blue box, which is kind of handy because um, sometimes there's a lot of parameters. So let's, does a button have a lot of parameters? Let's find a button. There's a button. Another way to find a button would be just go button here uh, or any part of button. So if we just go but and hit go, there it is. It opened up button. And as you can see, uh, the, these parameters go right off the screen. So here, when they wrap, you can see the parameters. So if you want to check out all of the parameters, it's easiest to just open up whatever you're looking at, and then you get them all wrapped. You'll note that the, um, the rest of the docs, though, are, let's see, is anything going off the screen? Yeah, there's some going off the screen. The rest of the docs is all set up in pre-mode, so pre-formatted mode. Otherwise, certain these things might wrap, and we just found it easier to list them and have you scroll to the right. So that means you might need to scroll to the right to see the rest of that. So it's certainly on mobile, but hopefully you're not really looking at the docs too much on mobile. Um, all right, so there's all of the parameters and how each of these is broken down is there's uh, a specification as to what this extends. So the, it, the button is a Zim class that extends a container. So that means it has all of the methods and properties of a Zim container and that extends a CreateJS container. And that means we also get all the properties of CreateJS containers such as X and Y. Those come all the way back from CreateJS. So when we list things here, it may be, uh, as, as we're going to see, well, let, let's go through it and then we'll get to the methods and properties down below. But here's a description next. And there's often an example as well that uh, might link through to certain ones that have already been made. There's some uh, notes and here are a few more links based on pizzazz icons and then uh, another note here. Then we have in doc examples. So there's an in doc example of the button right there. I oh, probably should adjust that to a const. We've tried to update everything to ES6. I don't know why we missed that one. Uh, then we move into the parameters. So the parameters will possibly support duo. That means it can we can do the parameters in order 
or we can do the parameters with a configuration object with um, uh, the properties uh, or the properties matching the parameter names. This also supports oct, which means it can receive style, style control like CSS, and it supports v where specified. So whenever there's a zim v, that means you can pass in dynamic parameters as well. If there is no zim v there, then you probably can't. Okay, so this is the list of the parameters. Oh, um, when we do v, here's a little shortcut about what that means. That means you could pass in an array and it would pick from the array. You could pass in a range, a min and max range, and it'll pick between that min and max range. Uh, you can pass in a series and it will pick from the series. Or you can pass in a function that returns a result and it will uh, pick the, the return uh, value. All right, uh, or you can pass in a normal number or whatever string and it will just, our object, and it'll just pass that on through. Okay, so uh, now we have all the parameters, width, height, label, background color, roll background color, down background color, color, roll color. So these are uh, explanations of all of the parameters are listed there. Then you have the methods come next. So what method specifically does the button have? There, uh, as we say down below here, also all the Zim fourth adds methods. So in Zim fourth, uh, which was the fourth version of Zim, we made all of the Zim uh, functions, which were Zim was once just a bunch of functions that worked on CreateJS objects. Then we brought many CreateJS objects into like container, etc. Brought those into Zim, and we turned all of our functions into methods. So rather than put all of the methods on each in the docs rather than put yeah you know, center and center reg and loc and pose all, uh, for every display object we broke those down in the docs into two parts and so let's just pop up and take a look at that so that would be the methods so here are the methods right here so in other words all these methods add to remove from loc move wrote uh, movement, animate, hit tests, uh, there's animate, hit tests, and all these just setting a mask, etc. All of those methods can go on any of these display objects right here. Let's go back to the circle. We were opening up the button and there was a lot going on there, so let's just go to the circle. It's a bit shorter. So there's the method specifically for a circle, but it also says, hey, all of the Zim fourth methods, such as all these, also are methods. And any methods for a container, such as the on method to add an event and get bounds and set bounds. So all of these, as well as any more, you can go to the create just docs to see that. Um, all those methods are also uh, available on this. Same kind of things can happen with properties. So here is properties. All of the objects get a type property, which holds the class name as a string. Here are some other properties that are available. And then it says also see the Zim container. Since this extends a Zim container, Zim containers have width and height, uh, width only and height only. Believe it or not, CreateJS didn't provide a width and height. We added that in Zim. So uh, um, there's some other ones that we've added as well to the container. And then CreateJS containers came with all these things. So we can use these as well as properties. Then finally, there's events, and the same events that are on a container are all available, such as added, click, double click, mouse, all the mouse events, the press move, press up, etc. So those are various events. Sometimes the object will have specific events. Uh, for instance, let's go to the pages. So I'm going to type in pages here, pages, and hit enter. Here's the. This is under controls now. This is the pages. There's its parameters. Let's scroll on down past the examples, past the parameters, past the methods, past the properties, and here's events. So uh, in here, there's a listing of various events. So it dispatches a page event, um, dispatches a swipe event, a page transitioned event, as well as descriptions of the various events. Often there, uh, this has a lot of description in it, often they're just sort of like one-liner listing of events there. Okay, dokity. Now, uh, back to the circle. circle. And let's see what else we can have a look at. 
Down at the bottom are a bunch of links, buttons here, so you can close it. You can see the page itself, so I'm gonna like this. It opens up in a new page, all of the, the docs for the page. So an individual page of that, if you so desire. Uh, you can see the code of a page. So here's the code for a circle. Okay, and note that that extends a custom shape. So there's a bunch more under custom shape that you might wanna look at as well. But anyway, that's code for the circle. You can take a tour that will, um, uh, a tour is a, a video specifically about this uh, um, ob object or class. So that would be a video about circle made specifically for the docs. We've got maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 of those of our main main items in there. We had hoped one day we may still um, do something for all of them, but anyway, that's it. There's a link through to bits, which show any of the Zim bits that have circles. So you can uh, go through them like this. So here we are going through the Zim bits and uh, with circles, there's 64 of them. Um, so that's lots. Or you can view them as a picture. So now here's a picture view of anything that had a Zim circle in, in there. And then you press on it and it will go to that. I have no way to get, no, don't know how I'm gonna get back now. <laughs> we could cheat and just go to the docs this way. <laughs> okay, so uh, when we did that, it was, um, what it does is it shows a listing of feature items up here now. So that, that uh, Zimbits has a link to every command that was in that Zimbits. And you'll find that that's also available in the Zim Editor. So when you go to the Zim Editor, um, those are available to link through from the promo page. You can link to uh, see about a label. And so that jumps you down to a label. You go back up to the top and you go, hey, I wanna see outline. And that tells you what, what's about outline. So this is a featured item thing, which you can do yourself as well with this thing called Zim uh, Doctor. It's no longer in here. It used to be listed under here. Maybe we should put it back in here, but it's under, um, uh, code, uh, I'll just go there now, code, uh, tools right here, and there's Zim Doctor. And what Zim Doctor does is you can press, you can put any Zim code in here and submit, and then it will give you a listing of links that will do just that, that will link to the, um, the docs and show all that tool. That's great for teachers and, and well, you know, we, we do it all the time. When we're doing code pens, for instance, we'll uh, use Doctor to make a list of the docs specifically for what is in there. Okay, do we almost look at all of them there? Let's go back to a circle here and scroll on down, check out the bottom. Yeah, so that was bits. And then finally, vids. Vids are either a link directly to a video uh, that is good for the topic a circle would be kind of silly. We don't make a video about a circle, but some of the other things like a Zim pen, we have, when we introduced it, we might have a bubbling feature video about the pen that goes all through through it. And that um, could be it. Or it could list to um, YouTube with um, a sort of a, like a YouTube search and then bring up a bunch of videos that all have that, that topic in it. Okay, I think that's it. So we can open up and close these things. Isn't that neat? That was a tour of the Zim docs. I am <laughs> docs abstract. <laughs> I'm Dr. Abstract. And come on into Zim, zimjs.com. I would suggest bookmarking the docs. That's what we do. It just makes it really easy to find the docs at any time and do the search up top. So when you do a search, you don't have to search the whole name. So if I just go sir like that, it found circle. I don't know if I'll find any more there. I found a hit test circle, hit test circle rect, hit test circles and back to sir. Okay, so you can just um, do that. There's also a light mode. Oh, I should have warned you. That's a light mode and a dark mode if you like. And so uh, there you go. That is a tour of, of the Zim docs. And this is Susie and the Banshees. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Talk to you guys later. All the best. <laughs>